Hello guys, welcome back. From today onwards, we are starting with Pass Paper Pro series. It's nothing but Triple P series. What is this Triple P series, sir? What you are going to cover? For CMA Intermediate, we are going to cover a Pass Paper Pro series in that Financial Accounting, Cost Accounting, Management Accounting and Corporate Accounting. If time permits, will do financial management as well it is not a particular chapter we are taking and doing 10 sums 20 sums from that chapter it is like wherever the question is more important and slightly tricky it's like a decision making problem it's like a numerical problems we are going to try to solve this so we are starting with our series with our first question for our discussion today from our marginal casting which will be helpful for the students for cost accounting paper number 8 and management accounting paper number 12 as well we will quickly go into the question i will read the question for you quickly a review made by a top management of takkar limited which makes only one product of the result of the first quarter are arrived so whatever the results they have given is based on the Past quarter, the sales in units is 10,000, loss is 10,000, fixed cost for the year is 1,20,000, in rupees for that particular quarter is 30,000, variable cost per unit in rupees is 8, fine, all the details is given, but some, only one detail is missing, that is contribution, okay, this contribution part, we need to find it. Next, what they are saying, the finance manager who feels, Petrotrip suggests that the company should at least break even in the second quarter with the drive for increased sales. He said, I am going to, with the drive for increased sales, we should break even. Towards this, a company should introduce a better packing. For that, they are incurring 0.5 per unit. This 0.5 per unit they are incurring. Just think whether it is a variable cost or it is a fixed cost. Basically, it will be a variable cost. Okay. Next. Will be. The sales manager. As an alternative proposal in this question basically there are three manager finance manager sales manager and production manager sales manager is an alternative proposal for the second quarter the additional sales and the promotion expenses to be 5000 that is the fixed expenses and the profit should be 5000 5, so this 5000 should be a fixed cost okay next Next one will be a production manager feels otherwise to improve the demand the selling price per unit has to be reduced by 3 percentage if it needs to be reduced by 3 percentage of selling price needs to be reduced that is the third alternative scenario in this we need to find all the, we need to find the selling price per unit first next they are saying the as a result of sales volume can be increased to attain a profit level of 4000 or for the quarter for the quarter means especially for the second quarter okay another director comes the final person comes managing director i am getting this three proposal ask you as a cost accountant to evaluate this three proposal and calculate the additional sales volume that would be required in each case in order to help him to take the decision basically they are asking you to calculate additional sales volume what is the additional sales volume basically we will quickly do the problem first we need to identify per unit of the selling price for that what we are going to do basically we know sales is equal to how many units 10,000 units for first quarter in exam also you can present like this okay basically how many columns we need to do basically we will do particulars per unit cost 
and we are having final amount what is information i have listen this variable cost is given so from the variable cost see how i am computing from the variable cost it is 8 per unit how many units sold 10000 so it will become 80000 next i am going to add fixed cost what is a fixed cost 30000 is my fixed cost what is my total 110000 is my total okay fine how many units i have sold 10000 1 lakh 10000 divided by 10000 you will get 11 then 30000 by 10000 you will get per unit fixed cost of 3 once it done there is a loss of 10000 there is a loss of 10000 it means per unit 1 rupee is loss so it means it will be my sales whatever you have done it in your uh, marginal costing that is sales minus variable cost is equal to contribution is minus fixed cost gives you profit or loss the same way i'm doing it in a reverse order okay the sales is done now the next part is i need to find out contribution right how i can find out the contribution contribution you know the basic formula is nothing but sales minus variable cost if i do sales minus variable cost it will give me two rupees this is your v this is your s then if i subtract i will get twenty thousand as my contribution then this was the basic statement from that product i am getting a contribution of twenty thousand the loss is incurring maybe because of fixed cost maybe because of variable cost it can be the any reason now we'll go to the comparative statement because we need to compare and then only give the answer comparative statement of three proposals by different manager basically you need to open a columns like particulars finance manager sales manager production manager in exams you will write full form okay proposals of this three people first listen i will take selling price okay i will take selling price in that selling price what has happened finance manager don't disturb that filling uh, selling price sales manager also telling don't disturb the selling price but this production manager is telling reduce three percentage of the selling price it means if i reduced 10 into 3 percentage will become 0 0.3 if i subtract it will become 9.7 so it will be 9.7 next i am going to subtract the variable cost in exam you will write full form variable cost per unit this is selling price per unit as finance manager said they need to increase slightly the packing cost that's what they have said right selling increase the packing cost per unit so here it will become rupees 8 plus rupees 0.5 per unit it will become 8.5 per unit the proposal of sales manager remains the same is does not change any variable cost production manager also not change any variable cost now the contribution will be again it is nothing but a contribution per unit p dot u means it is a contribution per unit it is 1.5 again if i see it is 2 then here 9.7 minus 8 is 1.7 contribution done now come to this part i am just rewrite the question that's it fixed cost 
regarding the fixed cost finance manager said i just the same old fixed cost what you have incurred follow the same but the sales manager is saying 5 percentage needs to be 5000 needs to be added towards the advertisement expenses so from 30 it has increased to 35 next production manager says don't disturb the it is assumed that they are not changing anything that's it okay then what is a profit margin finance manager doesn't talk about any profit margin but the sales manager talks about if you do this you will get a profit of 5000 and as the production manager is in the view of 4000 profit so this is what they have given now with this what i can find out based on the available information i can frame the formula this contribution is their fixed cost state you will from the mindset you can easily get the formula for this is nothing but fixed cost divided by contribution per unit is nothing but break even point for this here in this two cases in this two cases you are having both fixed cost and the revised profit margin so for this available information you can use sales to earn a desired profit sales to earn a desired profit formula so don't do this markings in your examination just for your information i have given okay don't do that now this first statement that analyzation part is over this analyzation part till this you need to write it down in your examination as well okay that round markings and all you don't need to do okay then now final part after we analyze we come to the answer same way we'll open a column for finance manager we'll open a column for sales manager we will open a column for production manager now you will write down break even point whether in units you are going to find out because if you noticed the sales manager as an alternative proposal wait the finance manager will feel suggests suggest that company should at least break even for him we are using break even point the sales manager for the second additional scale can be named with an increased sales so we are using sales plus or fixed cost plus desired profit formula in the same way volume can attain a profit level so we are using fixed cost plus profit to attain a desired sales level in this way also you can find out the break even point in units what is the formula it is nothing but fixed cost divided by contribution per unit it is nothing but contribution per unit next what is sales in units formula desired sales it is nothing but fixed cost plus profit divided by contribution per unit done this is the basic two things I need to follow. If I write the answer, fixed cost. Basically, it is nothing but 30,000. What is the contribution in this case? It is 1.5. Done. What is my answer? Just take a calculator and give me the value. It will become 20,000 right fine is there any need to find out the sales manager and production manager no no they are saying in the view of the increase in the sales profit so here the sales manager say it is nothing but fixed cost as we already taken it is 35,000 plus the profit is 5,000 divided by here the contribution per unit is 2 
so it's two so total it is forty thousand by two it will became twenty thousand now come to the production manager part production manager is of the opinion thirty thousand is a fixed cost plus four thousand is my profit mod i am an estimated profit and the contribution is one point seven okay the contribution is one point seven so it will become thirty four thousand divided by one point seven again it is an half of it so again it will become twenty thousand so basically break even point from a to break even it that finance manager say it is twenty thousand i will give you extra five thousand profit follow my idea you need to sell twenty thousand units in the production manager point of view i will give you extra for four thousand estimated profit for that you need to sell twenty thousand units but the question is not this the answer is ex sorry the answer is not this they are asking the major part of additional sales volume we have calculated total sales volume okay but they are saying what is a additional sales volume so basically sales units in first quarter ft means first quarter first quarter how many how much sales they have done everybody in every option they have said 10000 Final answer is what is the additional sales volume required? Basically, you will keep this entire part as A in A. This is B. This is case one A. For finance manager, it is A minus B. That is twenty thousand minus ten thousand will become ten thousand units. Okay, ten thousand units. In the same way, here it is twenty. Here it is ten. Again, ten thousand units. Again, for production manager also it is ten thousand units. Okay. So, if you have do the sum, they will give you a mark of two plus eight. So, total ten marks is the marks allocated. This question we have taken in December thirteen, December two thousand thirteen attempt. So. make sure you are writing everything in your answer step by step if you want to get this pdf just whatsapp to this number initially from here after after one or two videos goes we have added to the google drive link as well in the comment section or in our website as well you can download it from our website okay so thank you have a nice day if you want more videos to be uploaded like this do like share and subscribe to our youtube channel and if you have any specific questions just comment below we will try to uh, give the solution to it